Joker is directed by Todd Phillips, who also directed the Hanover trilogy, and it stars Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur Fleck, and it tells the origin story of how Joker became the iconic DC Comics villain who we all know and love. Now, Joker was one of my most anticipated movies of 2019. I was really, really looking forward to seeing this movie. I was really curious because it looked like they were taking Joker's origin story, and they're taking it in a new and original direction that we've never seen before in any of the DC comics. Guys, I am proud to say Joker is one of my favorite movies of this entire year. It was everything I wanted it to be, and it delivered on just about every single note. Some of you guys are probably thinking, oh, well, John, you're just being biased. You're just trying to join the bandwagon so none of the other DC fans hunt you down. Guys, I'm being legit serious. Joker is a fantastic movie. I just want to mention one thing. Yes, what you've been hearing about is true. Joaquin Phoenix is absolutely amazing as this character. Joaquin Phoenix is an absolutely phenomenal actor. I think he's one of the best actors working today, hands down. I've loved him in just about every single movie I've seen him in. Gladiator, Her, Walk the Line, and he once again shines in Joker. Before Arthur turns into Joker, Phoenix did a tremendous job playing Arthur because you feel sympathy for his character. He doesn't turn into Joker until like halfway through the movie. But the thing is, without going into spoilers, when he transforms into Joker, he doesn't just wake up one day and go, oh, I'm a psychopath now, I'm just gonna kill people. No, you see him progress into turning into this character. You're, he's basically just spinning around in a whirlpool of madness. Cause when he's Arthur, he's just an outcast of society. He, he just get treated like crap. And you feel bad for him because the movie shows scenes where he just gets pounded down to the ground and, and you're just like, oh man, I feel bad for this guy. But of course, when he turns into Joker, you're just like, oh wow, I don't feel any more sympathy for this guy. Also, the movie is incredibly well made and well shot. I really liked how Joker depicted Gotham City because the way Joker depicts Gotham is is shown as this depressing and dreary and like crime-ridden city. Well, technically Gotham is all those things, but Joker presented it in a way that I thought was really unique and it really stood out. You can also tell that Joker took inspiration from Martin Scorsese's earlier movies, like specifically Taxi Driver and The King of Comedy. But what I really liked about Joker was it did its own thing. It didn't feel like a ripoff of Scorsese. It's not like you're watching it and you're just like, oh, this is basically recycled Martin Scorsese. No, Joker does its own thing. It has winks and nods to Taxi Driver and the King of Comedy, but for the most part, it does its own thing. And speaking of Scorsese, Robert De Niro is also in this movie and he basically plays this talk show host of this late night Gotham City talk show. And he's barely in it. He's not in it for that much. But when he's in it, De Niro gives the best performance I've seen him in in quite a long time. One of the most unique parts about Joker I thought was I really liked that while it is technically a superhero movie, it doesn't feel feel like an all-around superhero movie. It feels like a character-driven piece of this mentally ill, depressed guy. We're at a point now where Hollywood is just basically shoving superhero movies down our throats. And while most of them have been really good, like for example, like the MCU movies, I enjoy the MCU movies, but I feel like Joker is the defining superhero movie of recent memory because it doesn't feel like one. It feels like its own thing. And I honestly have not seen a superhero movie this adult and mature since Logan. So overall guys, I cannot praise Joker enough. 
Joaquin Phoenix gave a career best performance as the iconic character, and I bet every single dollar in my bank account that he'll get nominated for best actor. I give Joker an A+. <laughs> Joker is not only the best comic book movie of the year, but it could be the best movie of the year, period. So if you have seen Joker, what are your thoughts on it? Just leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more great content.